So we have a puzzle to figure out what the calling card reveals. Um, we don't have the calling card. Okay, well, I'm still gonna guess Lupin. I am beginning to see. What medication did he administer? I really don't know. An empty vial fell into a puddle, and I picked it up. The label is damaged, and the water would have washed out any remaining substance. Impossible to tell what it held. But what are you doing here? Can you explain what's going on? I assume that the guards who are watching the crown jewels were also attended to. Yes, and the only key leading to that room is on my chain. I must help you out of here. Is there another key to this grill? The cook has one, but he's out. However, I think I had a spare key to the guard room made, and it wasn't on my chain. You might just find something there that will get me out of here. Or capture the person responsible for all of this. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Lupin himself is, uh, you know, the, the, the fake doctor who knocked out all these guards. It was part of his plan. Get me out of here, Holmes. The lock of the grill has been... Okay, so I have the key to the weapons room. Where is the weapons room? Let me warp there. I don't know where it is. Is it here? Yeah, Waterloo Barracks. This could be it. And I have a flask of four ounces because... Reasons. Perhaps I still need to go... It's the weapons room that's right there. I seem to remember the weapons room being there last time. Yep. Lupin clearly uh, poisoned, uh, you know, poisoned the food so all the guards would get sick. So he, posing as a doctor, could then, could then come inside and just knock them all unconscious. A devious plan, indeed. It's gotta be here, right? I seem to remember. Yep, there it is. So I need to find something here. Oh, and now it's added to my map. Seems kind of silly because it was on my map last time I was at the Tower of London, but whatever. Ooh, things to steal. This dish is empty, but might work. This liquid has a strong smell. Certainly a petrol derivative to lubricate or clean metal. There isn't much left, just enough to moisten a rag. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'd be able to find something useful in this case, but it is locked. Oh, okay. Well, I might need to find a way to unlock it. This helmet stand is quite singular, sturdy, and very light. <laughs> okay. Helmet stands are great. I'm just gonna steal it. Hmm, let's see. Do I put the haggis in the dish? Oh, no, I'm using the haggis as a hot air balloon. I'm clearly making two hot air balloons here. As you can see, as part of my uh, super cool plan, this door is going to be locked, correct? It was locked last time. This served to store the exact quantity of powder necessary to load the cannon. I'm loading a cannon now? The interior diameter of this cannon is approximately two and a half inches. Oh. Okay. Well, good to know. Except my cannon diagram was in metric, not inches, but whatever. Perhaps translating from metric to inches is going to be a puzzle. Small, dry pieces of wood. I mean, the game's telling me I already looked in this middle table, but I can look again. This part is dedicated to medieval hunting. Yeah, I already looked at this last time I was in the area. Okay, nothing I can interact with here. Nothing I can interact with here. Okay, so now that I've been thorough and have explored this room, let's check out that room, which is now opened. Here we go. But it's the key to that chest that was locked. If I am to believe the tag on his uniform, this warder is called Summerby. Apparently he was also taken care of by the doctor, Dr. Lupin. Dr. Lupin, who always uses Look, anagrams. this warder must have lost this key in falling. What could it be for? It's the door of the Queen's Jewel House, and it is quite solid. 
Was that the sound of a saw from behind the door? Lupin could be finished in his work any moment. I must make haste. Okay, I imagine this is the key to that locked case, which was not too far from here. So let's go back here, find that locked case. It was along this wall, I believe. Here. And thus it opens. This may prove to be useful. Anything else I can take? This may prove to be useful. Cool. So I found some items. Well, I found a lot of items and that's great. However, um, I don't think I found anything. Anything! Which helps me um, figure out a way to save the man who was trapped behind the grill. Yeah, the cook had something he said. Whatever that conversation was. You hear me? Okay. Well, I can't jump all the way to the end of this conversation. Only key, okay, the cook has one. He had a spare key to the guard room made. Might find something. Okay, I might find something that will help him. Not 100% surely I would find something that would help him. Clearly, I need to put things together. I already solved that puzzle. I already solved that puzzle. The locked box in the uh, room. Okay, how do I damage the rope that Lupin? It's a fairly complicated solution because obviously we don't need a simple solution here. The knights are everywhere. I've got haggis, lampshade, wax doily from the cook's lodgings. Do I even have that? I don't even know where the cook's lodgings are. It could be one of those items I've used here. Because I got string, oil, scarf from Smith. I don't recall getting a scarf. And it doesn't look like I've got a scarf at all. Okay, use the helmet stand with the haggis, then the lamp stand with the doily to create the balloons. Tie the string to the dish in the cake mold and attach those as baskets. Okay, each one is a specific thing. Now I must find thing. some fuel for my hot air balloons. The fuel is obviously going to be oil. Oil does not count as fuel. So I'm just going to use the pieces of wood, and now I light them with oil. The hot air balloon is ready for use. Do I use the matches to light them? No, I do not. Do I put them together? No. Okay, next step. Next step is going to be tie them together with the scarf, which I got from Smith. Okay, so who is Smith? Perhaps it's that guard that was knocked unconscious, and I just forgot to steal something from his unconscious body. That's not very nice of me to do so, but it's uh, not the chief guard, because that guy had a different last name. If I am to believe the tag on his... Hmm, doesn't look like I can see anything else in here. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Move over here. What if I look from this angle? No, no, no thing there. Okay. Hmm, let's see. This was not Smith, though. This was someone else entirely. Was this man a Smith? No, he was not. Okay, we've got to figure out who Smith is and how we're going to get his, his, his scarf. Certainly a gift for a child. Roller skates. Let's see. No? No, no, no. This was totally not that puzzle. Okay. This is sort of frustrating. Um somewhat frustrating. Smith, of course, was one of those guards, right? Perhaps it's this guard? There aren't that many people hanging around here. Hmm. Alright. Back in the storeroom, I presume. But he's not Smith either. 
Fire. I can swear that's not his name. Get me out of here, Holmes. The lock of the grill has been changed. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna have to see if we can figure this out um, another way. I need to tie them together using the, the using the scarf. Where am I getting the scarf? So the scarf. I got oil from the weapons room, but scarf from Smith. Who is Smith? Was Smith mentioned at all in the Johnson's Locker puzzle? No? Okay, how do I determine which locker is Johnson's? Because I don't remember Smith being the last name of one of the guards, but I could be wrong. Yep, Smith is not one of the guards. Hmm. So what should I be doing here? I don't know. I'm lost. Oh, jeez. Okay. Because there was a scarf puzzle earlier, too. But I don't think I can, like, go to a different area. Like, um, go back to London, to Baker Street. I have no reason to go there. I cannot do that. I can't do that. Okay. Just good to know. Good to know. Frustrating. Like, if the in game walkthrough is just not helpful, it's like I'd have to look for a walkthrough somewhere else. Which is sad. So let's go out here. Earth would a smith be located in the Tower of London? This rope is very high. Without the keychain, I cannot get up to the ramparts. And sc can you even like run in this area? I think he can go here. This rope is very high. Okay, so I've noticed all parts of the rope, which are basically the same thing, okay? Let's be honest. I must burn the rope that Lupin strung between the jewel house and the exterior. Otherwise, he will escape that way. Quickly, time is pressing. I know time is pressing. Well, that's the door from earlier. Okay. It's scattered around. It's just... Who is Smith and... When, when on earth did I get a scarf from a guy named Smith? Hmm. Why are some of these questions down here? Warden Smith. I need to revive him. Warden Smith. Yeah, free Chief Smith from inside... I just didn't get a scarf from anyone. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pause here to see if I can figure... I'm just gonna look this up. This is impossible. Alright, so, uh, the internet was very, very helpful. It basically says that I need to give the file to Smith, and then gives me the scarf. Something which you'll notice was not even kind of mentioned in 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 the uh, help thing that comes along with this game. So that's a bit unfortunate. So I talked to him while holding Take the this file. To all that I could find. Is there any way to enter the jewel house without a key? No, not without a cannon at least. In that case, I'll have to find one. You are kidding, I'm sure. I would not trifle with such a serious matter as this. The munitions are found in the armory at the top of the staircase heading to the White Tower, the central tower. Apart from the one on my keychain, the other key is found in one of the service buildings, 
and it will be far too complicated to tell you how to locate it. Pray, release yourself as quickly as possible. Go find the key and open the door of the armory for me. I will join you there. Is that your scarf over there? Can you please pass it to me? My daughter just finished knitting it. She should start knitting another, because before entering the jewel house, I must block Lupin's retreat. Okay, so... The scarf gets used on the hot air balloons. I presume I, must I release tie my them hot together. Air in precise order. Release them in precise order? What? You're being silly, Holmes. They're connected together. We just release them at the same time. Okay, Holmes, run down here. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. And, okay, come on. Let's get him into the area where I can actually see everything. Uh, he wants to block the outside one. Not, I must burn the, the rope that Lupin strung between the jewel house and the exterior. Otherwise, he will escape that way. Quickly, time is pressing. Got it. Here we go, let's do this. I will ignite my balloons as soon as I release them. Watch out, they're off. Why did he need a pair of balloons? I don't know, but I... Uh, I guess that's to get him stuck there. I guess that works. He could have also done it with a singular balloon, just the rope placed must have in been the somewhat right damaged spot. to no longer be able to support a heavy load. Let's see if Smith has been able to get out and find the key to the arsenal. Okay, well, where is he going to be waiting for you? By the White Tower, perhaps. Let's see if he did, in fact, get out, though. Yeah, it's like, well, if he got out, where did he hide? Okay, come on, come on. Yes, he did get out. Beautiful. Okay, so, White Tower. Oh, no, that's him, right? Come on, Holmes, hurry up. I've been working as quickly as I could, but my old arms have been shaking like leaves with the effort. While I'm taking care of the robber, you'll need to get to the base of Big Ben in order to find one of the officers thereabouts, because I don't think you'll find another in the whole of London. But what are they doing there? Hmm, being stupid and not solving the case. They're not stopping the villain. They're not stopping the crime. I am. Because I'm Sherlock Holmes. Meanwhile... Enough already. Enough. Prime M Minister, I... Where is he then, this Lupin? Hmm. Does he think I have nothing better to do? I've just done my round. You wouldn't believe, but there's a mob of journalists down there. Well, that takes the biscuit. It's not surprising. Half the force has been kicking their heels in front of Big Ben for the past eight hours. It couldn't go unnoticed forever. Journalists? A mob? Yes, but of course. What now, Doctor? Inspector, check the identities of the journalists. Lupin has previously disguised as a journalist, and I'm sure it was he who alerted them in order to create a diversion and slip in. Well played, Doctor. I'm on it. At last, some action. Lupin has previously disguised himself as a journalist, did you say? When was this then, Doctor? Ah, well... Hmm, I... <laughs> um... Humorous. Humorous. And I, I, I <laughs> have to say, it's taken me eight hours. Holmes took eight hours? I mean, because we saw them four hours ago. Wow, Holmes has been here a long time. 